How many people put, when you're rigging a bobber stop on a Texas rig, when do you put the bobber stop on? First, First right? Okay. We're not gonna put the bobber stop on first. It's kind of strange. I still sort of ring it wrong every once in a while, right? Because you get, you get so used to putting the bobber stop on. It's like, it's like riding a bike. We're not gonna put the bobber stop on first. We're gonna get our O-ringed weight and we're gonna put that on first, okay? We're gonna put that on our line first. By the way, I'm gonna go over this line scenario here in a second. Okay, so we're adding our weight first. Then we're gonna add our bobber stop, okay? Now I'm putting my bobber stop on second. That sounds kind of backwards, doesn't it? it sounds kind of backwards, but it's not. And then, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then last but not least, we're gonna add our hook, which again, listen guys, listen. Match the hook size with the bait size medium gauge to norm, normal gauge wire, no 2X, 3X hook. But in general, I'm using a 2 aught to a 4 aught hook, either EWG or round bend, depending on the style of the bait, okay? So last but not least, we put our weight on, we put our bobber stop on, we tied our hook on, we're gonna get our bait, and we're gonna talk about these baits, I think is, is next, we're gonna get our bait. In this case, this is a four inch, French fry, it's got a flat bottom. Oh boy, that's key. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. I'm gonna Texas rig to John, just like you normally do. Nice and straight, okay, okay. And now let's put it all together. Now for this one, I'll just put the bobber stop down there. There we go. How boring and simple and dumb that is, right? Like, think about it. It's the most, unsexy way to rig bait ever it's boring but this is the free rig okay this is the free rig you kind of already said it because you you got it instantly but this bobber stop or weight stop going on second is so important to this rig okay and it's important for 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 two reasons really okay the one is when we're fishing our free rig where that weight's going all the way down to the bait, to the head of the bait, I'll let you say it since you got it right before. What's that bobber stop doing? It's protecting that knot, okay? So, so think about it. If we didn't have that bobber stop there and you've got that metal O-ring on that tungsten weight, tungsten's dense to begin with, right? Super hard. That that O-ring is just rubbing on your, that connection point the whole time. Friction, abrasion, we don't want that, okay? So that bob, bobber stop is giving us not protection, okay? Really, really, really key. But the other thing it's gonna do, and, and you're gonna hear versatility about this rig, you hear this word a lot, is what if I'm free rigging and all of a sudden I see some, I'm free rigging on a flat, flat banks, and it's got little short hydrilla. It's got little sand grass growing up on it. Dude, I take that bobber stop. I've snagged some a couple casts before with my chatterbait, and I know the hydrilla is only about that big, so I just want it a little longer than that. So I put my bobber stop up there, and now, look at that. Mm, pretty cool, okay? So it gives me the versatility to also change that leader length on the fly, which I like. Uh, uh, real quick, in general, before we get to the next one, and you'll understand this in a second, but in general, unlike a Carolina rig, I hardly ever put that bobber stop way up here. I almost always have that bobber stop at a maximum 12, 14, 16 inches, okay? At a maximum. Most of the time, I actually like the bait, I like the weight all the way down, or if I have that short grass situation, I want it a little higher, what would you call that? Was that maybe six inches, seven, six, four, eight? Okay. <laughs> Giant! Giant! <laughs> Two pounder. All right, next. <laughs> next slide.
Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing. I mean, to, to, in my defense, I grew up in New Jersey. My home body of water is the tidal Delaware River. A two and a half pounder there is a giant. So there's that. Um, all right. You heard me say earlier, the great thing about this free rig is versatility. Listen to me. I'm going to look all of you in the eye. I'll try to do this real quick. This is hard. There's a lot of people in the room. <laughs> that was strange. And tell you that with this rigging technique, you can use any bait soft plastic that you have. Like, listen, if you have a favorite soft plastic, the, the Gary Yamamoto Yamahuchi Hamahuchi, use it. The whatever, right? This will work with any plastic. But in general, I have two styles that I like. And it's two styles of baits, depending on if I'm using the free rig, more finesse with a spinning rod, or if I'm using the free rig, more power fishing on a casting rod, okay? And you could do both. So I know there's a couple anglers in the room that love this and don't like a spinning rod. It's okay, it's cool. Or the opposite, anglers in the room that love spinning and hate that thing, fine, okay? And do you notice Rich took this time to show to the world that I rigged a bait caster on a spinning rod? <laughs> because, yeah, let me tell you real quick. And that's the only reason is I grabbed my travel rod bag on the way here. And for whatever reason, it normally has a casting and a spinning travel rod in it. And when I opened it here today, I realized it had two spinning rods in it. So just pretend it's a bait casting rod. <laughs> okay. Any bait you already have, but in general, uh, uh, finesse, more power techniques. And for the power techniques, I want to free rig with a soft plastic that's bulky, but not a lot of giant big action, okay? L let, me, let me maybe try to give you examples of that. So like, name a, a bigger soft plastic that's bulky. What's, what's one everybody knows? Brush hog, brush hog. Brush hog is great for the free rig. Perfect, okay? What about a bigger bait that has a ton of action? What's that Gary Yamamoto creature? You ever see that? Giant legs. Yeah, just giant big legs, right? Not that that won't work, but I want, for my power fishing soft plastics, I want big and bulky, bulky, 